Yeah, I'll jump in if I feel a riff coming. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Drew here. Um, just to remind you that we do have the Patreon now. Check it out. Five bucks a month. A um, bunch of extra content. So an, an extra episode every couple of weeks. Um, when we're doing sort of like deep dives, we're covering history of Sydney comedy. We've got a bunch of awesome stuff in the pipeline as well. So check it out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and also my friend show, please, everybody come along. It's getting close now. Some people bought tickets. I need everyone to buy tickets. It'll be fucking awesome if you can. 14th, 16th, 17th of September. Um, anything else, Jamie boy? Thanks for supporting the pod, baby. Awesome. Love Cheers. You. See you guys. Hello and welcome along to the Community Notice Board. Hello, welcome to another episode of Community Notice Board, a podcast about suburbs we grew up in, local landmarks, hometown heroes, and coming of age tales. We got a very special guest in the studio today, very funny comedian. It's Fran Middleton. How are you, Fran? Hey, Fran's I'm here. Thanks. I'm excited. And we're going to Western Australia. We're going we to Wild Wild West. Done too many episodes in Western Australia, so always excited Ooh. to do it. Mm. And the, the town you're from is a little place called Yanjabup. Correct. Is that? Yeah. I got it right. You checked with me just Yeah, before. I did check. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty bad if you screwed that up 45 it seconds. It has happened. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, trust me. I'm the major culprit of mispronouncing yeah. stuff. But you're from, um, and so Yangjabop. Oh, yeah, go on. Everyone and say it differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's part of Greater Frio? Or? Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, the, it's um, a southern suburb. So it's south of Perth and it's south of Frio, but it's just in a little bit mm. towards the freeway. We just, for some reason, it's like, are you near the coast or are you near the freeway? Right, the freeway goes options. right down the middle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. a freeway guy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love a freeway. Love a house that's with a view. Feel, that's what I feel at home, you know, <laughs> <laughs> on the freeway. I just know? love walking out onto my back and you get those yeah. freeway views. Mm, <laughs> sucking up that tailpipe exhaust. Yeah, <laughs> if, I, if I ever, ever show you guys around there, I'll show you the freeway first thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> first. I, mean, I have that's heard day Perth one. is known for its freeway. <laughs> that, <laughs> around the that's world. why they call it Frio, right? It's a freeway. Oh, there we go. All right. You didn't see this out, but Fran bought a prop with... Oh, oh my true. lord! Yeah, I've got to see this again. Again? <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> to take right. another look at this. Okay, We're a prop heavy a, pod. There's so. a green ribbon, mm-hmm. and there's a little medallion on the end, and it says Yanjabop Netball Club. Oh <laughs> yes! <laughs> on the back it says Yanjabop Netball Club JA3 Premiers 2002 Francis Middleton. Lovely Beautiful stuff. We won. No big deal. But this is the main th- reason I want to show you this is look at these colours. Like a shitty lime green and brown. They were our colours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool uniform. Stuff. Don't That's disparage lime green school. on this pod, okay? The Is Canberra Raiders uh, are yeah. lime green. Shitty brown. Shitty green. Lime green. That, yeah, I like it. I love junior sport because did you guys, we got, every year we'd either get a trophy or you would get a medal like that. Mm-hmm. And I always like the medals better than trophies. We I got don't know why. I just so always, many trophies. Yeah. Um, I spent, before moving back over to... Um, to Sydney, I spent ages just sitting on the floor of my mum's house, peeling off my name and the little engraved bit from all of the trophies that I had. So many, yeah, so so many. <laughs> oh, they really not did to brag. Hand out. Yeah, no, 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 it's not a break. It's a sad thing that I did it for so many years. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, gotta get rid of these, and then I could give them to an op shop because then there's no. Ah. That's a hot tip for anyone if you're like, what do I do with all my trophies? Trof- trophies? Do you say trophies? <laughs> <laughs> what the op shop takes them? Oh, yeah, just you just peel them all off. Oh, yeah, yeah, peel right, off okay. all the things. So who's <laughs> buying their own trophies? <laughs> well, <laughs> I work I've, got, I've got five on. coolest dad trophies. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Funniest <laughs> bloke at the office. <laughs> Very cool. Or some people might just want on their mantle like a, a weird sculpture of a girl in a netball skirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it in an art museum or something. Yeah, you know, I, it's I contemporary, so. it's I weird. And and they change over the years too, like, you know, 1993 as opposed to 1999. Like there's – you get like oh, a translucent kind of like a see-through perspex There one must be a later, trophy industry you know? like roadshow thing where they come and show the new designs <laughs> oh, in, totally. in yeah. local yeah. sport yeah. trophy We're stuff. We're going perspex this <laughs> <year>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a bronze, I don't know if it's real bronze, but there's like shitty gold ones at home. And then I've got one year where they did it in like some sort of like, yeah, bronzy um, matte. That's like a trend. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks genuine. It yeah. looks like the Winfield Cup or something. It looks like, like <laughs> real fucking cool. Um, and like it would have been a bit heavier one. than you. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's the other thing. 
Weapons. They're good weapons. <laughs> yeah, they are great yeah. weapons. I'm going to go on like, por- you know, porn stars and be like, listen, I got this trophy when I was eight years old. What are you going to give it for me? You yeah, know, yeah. Oh, I'll have to get a guy down Man, here and check this out. I've low-key been getting into that show. It's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. It's really fun. Have you guys seen porn stars? Uh, I'm, I think I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the pod? Do, no. no. <laughs> it's very we got stupid. a couple clips. <laughs> it's very stupid. So give us like... Uh, Yanjabup scene. I did a, one of my patented walk arounds on Google Maps. It's oh, did you? Is it's that what very, you do? I love it. Yeah. Stretches his legs. I like to come onto pods having no idea what the fuck the pod is. <laughs> 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 I'm your would, worst guest give, ever. Give us just the vibe of the. It looked. It looked like the most low key Aussie suburb built in the nineties. Like yeah. it looked like where I grew up, basically. Well, yeah. Well, my my parents they um, built their house in 1980 when they got married, and it was a sand lot, like yeah. all sand lot kind of thing. Um, obviously, before that was a thriving indigenous community that got wiped out. But um, <laughs> yeah. okay. but uh, I yep. mean, you just 100%. say that about every yeah, we yeah, literally right? every yeah, suburb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the and unspoken get, dark trauma of this pod that runs <laughs> under every episode. But I mean, they I, named it as an indigenous name. I imagine. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah, um, I grew up um, of the understanding that it meant like up. So in WA or the Nunga kind of South WA region, most of it, um, a lot of the places end with up. Like mm-hmm. and I so I thought I think that means place okay. like yeah. and then um, but I'm I'm just gonna disclaim everything being saying I think not like this is definitely true <laughs> yeah. I think um, and the Yanj bit is like these kind of reeds that are in the local lake or something like that because mm-hmm. there is a the lake right like there's Yanj up Lake oh my god yeah yeah how did you, you know <laughs> well it's, it's been on the news recently it's, uh, what. For the Reeves. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 the Reeve news out of the Angel Butt Lake. <laughs> the highway. Move over highway. we got a lake with Reeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's um, clogged with old net ports. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's a sad time. Um, but, yeah, it's – so a lot of these houses all kind of built up. Um, there's a big – there's the Angel Butt um, Public Primary School, which was right down the road from me. There's the Yanjabup local shops. Oh, Ooh. hey. All right. What kind okay. of shops we got here? All right. We got places that I, I worked in, me and my sisters. I got four sisters, so there's five of us. We all just worked in all the places in the shops. <laughs> just like walked down the road and like, okay, you, I'm working at the fish and chip shop. You work at the <laughs> Chinese restaurant. <laughs> you work at the Italian <laughs> restaurant. Like that, we're all just, <laughs> just the Middleton sisters. Middleton <laughs> run, the show. run the whole economy. <laughs> it's it's true. You guys go on a family holiday, the whole town shuts down. <laughs> <laughs> like, the economy's struggling. Oh uh, we're out of work here. Um, oh, I they're all like, thank fuck, they were controlling everything. Oh my God. <laughs> I did see there was a, a Japanese and Korean restaurant. Which is a weird sort of like it's in suburbia, yeah. That and must it's, be new, mate. It's but it's called G'day Japanese and <laughs> Korean, <laughs> which is That's so is suburban Australia. Oh, for also, me. if we're talking about WA, everyone needs to know the, the old slogan G'day from WA. Oh, G'day! Yeah. I had a T-shirt with G'day from WA on it. I really? love saying it to people. <laughs> I'm not from, from there WA. anymore. It's really fun. Give yeah, it a go. someone nailed that in tourism WA. Yeah. G'day WA. Mm. But it was one star. Someone wrote one star. <laughs> well, like it's a it's a good rest. Actually, a lot of people like this is genuinely the best. Like, I guess they're trying to say it's like Korean it's Japanese co- fusion. Yes. <laughs> I don't think they know the difference, right? But they're saying this is really, really good. And then one person, not even a star. Worst Korean food I've ever had. I regretted it. Should have gone to KFC. KFC will be a thousand <laughs> times better. <laughs> it's like For your authentic <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Korean food is <laughs> KFC. Korean the, fried the K I mean, in. they do do really good fried chicken in Korean places. A hundred percent. Yeah, you know? so it's not too unfair. It, yeah, exactly. They're not far off. Sure, I know. But he's saying it's the worst Korean I've ever had. <laughs> so and then he's like, I should have gone to KFC, KFC for the best Korean and I've ever had. this person <laughs> A local from Yanjabup. No, do I don't know. Or do S- they blow in? It says local guide, 128 reviews. So I don't know. But anyway, go check out G'day Japanese and Korean <laughs> restaurant for your authentic. Give it a go. G'day from WA. G'day well, from WA. But that, that that little shopping centre, that's uh, what are we talking here? It's like Moorhand Drive, no Osprey Drive. Okay, so all of the streets around there are named after birds. Uh-huh. So there's um, Plover Drive, Moorhand Drive, Pelican Ramble. That's my favourite one. That's oh, a great that's street. the best I've ever heard. Ramble. I yeah. want to move in just for that. <laughs> I wanna, yeah, I want to live on a ramble. I want to yeah. write that down on my address <laughs> yeah, yeah, when yeah. I'm shopping online. <laughs> uh, Pelican Ramble. Yeah. <laughs> Which number? 69? <laughs> 69. <laughs> 69, 420. <laughs> yeah, unit 69. <laughs> stuff, yeah, unit 69 at 420, Pelican Ramble. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> get my, get my Hello right, Fresh well, that's what we'll do with the Patreon. We'll build a <laughs> we, have, yeah, we have to probably build 410 other homes so we get to 420. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to make it. It's going to lose us a lot of money. <laughs> 
But that's a cool. But then there's also a bunch um, of streets named after trees. So we were on Tewitt Place off mm. Acacia Drive or whatever oh, the hell, you know. So like 80s trees, like subdevelopment yeah, yeah. shit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> totally. Very, very cute. Mm. I yeah. might, like the last place that we lived in Queen Bien was, it, it just, you know, built probably in the 90s. It was built on an old rubbish dump. Like that's it, how fucked it was. Yeah. And it, which w- weirdly meant like white tail spiders. Oh, it's just constantly like. I think we had some redbacks in Dad's shed. Just terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> trying to relate to your story, but it's um, it's it was like whatever. It was just a normal suburban house, but the, it was on Thomas Royal Gardens. So you tell people you live there, and like, oh, la di da. Okay, <laughs> and yeah. it's just a normal house. You got to move a couch out of the way to get your front door and an old mattress and stuff like that. Um, I just speaking of. Uh, one star reviews. I did find a place called the Vale Bar and Brasserie. I don't know if you. It's it was. It seemed down near the shops, probably next to G'day. Um <laughs> Just like a classic pub. Um, but two weeks ago, one star from Peter. He goes, "Not having a good night at the Vale. I will say it's generally good, but they lowered the bar tonight. First, they changed the TV to something else, <laughs> and then I got up to have a piss. They cleaned up my full drink. Thanks, Vale. Get fucked." <laughs> <laughs> I love that change the TV what? to something. What was he watching? I know. I was watching it and just like that, and I was so excited. <laughs> and they change it to the bloody NRL. <laughs> well, that's what piqued my interest. So I started going through, and then I found another review from five years ago. One star popped in to have a beer with a mate and watch the Big Bash. Was having a pleasant time until a barman decided he wanted to watch Family Feud. <laughs> 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 so he changed the TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, that's so cool. The pub for the people. Uh, I hope it's a Steve Harvey version <laughs> or something. Oh like man, that. if I'm at the pub like watching sport and the guy changes it to a game show and he's like, I want to watch this, I'd be mad, but I'd definitely be like. A bit of respect. Yeah, respect, man. Oh, well, like, yeah. Come on. Like, okay, it's I'll not leave. even live. Like, you can watch it whenever he wants. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, it's on. And, and it's like, on, like, almost every day. <laughs> and the rest oh of the God. review was him, like, apparently all, like, it wasn't just him. Like, everybody who wanted to watch the cricket had to go outside and watch it on a different screen. <laughs> I love that. I don't uh, even know where the veil is. Do you even know more about current Yanjibub than I do? Yeah, ma- I'll tell right, you look, the old school Maybe stuff. it's new, but, yeah, it was, like, because it seemed like there was, is it based on South Google Lake? Maps, I think it was, like, uh, towards um, because it's like Greater Coburn. Is that the Coburn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It spelled Cockburn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a thing about Coburn. Um, so when the Coburn shops were made, like it's called Gateway Coburn Gateway, mm. and it's right near the freeway. <laughs> um, it's just huge, and it like built and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then they made this big train station there. And at the train station, they got some artist to create these like generic images of an old woman and a young boy based on all the faces of the people in the fucking community. <laughs> and so that it's merged together oh into god. this what? awful That's like horrifying. fake looking like, <laughs> blurred face old woman. And then the other side of it is this young boy image. It's so oh, bad. Like if an you, AI like yeah, melding. Yeah. It's got like your auntie's cheek and then you like the neighbor's like nose or something. But it's all like this kind of all in one kind of blur. That is so it just so kind of looks creepy. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, that's very off It's a really big thing about if you've been to Gateways yeah. or in, in Coburn at all, that's everyone knows it. Oh, the big creepy faces. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's awesome. I do want to just quickly touch on a, a, a Frio um, local Frio legend, um, which yes. is, of course, Rove McManus. He's oh, a local we're legend. about the McManuses. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I didn't know that they were as a whole, the whole a family clan, who right? all runs the Dockers. They run the – that's all – he's got all these footy connections. Mm-hmm. Um, Rove McManus's family – He's you know, from, um, he's from Sha- Sean McManus. Sean McManus, yeah, yeah. He was the one with the the blonde kind of curly hair that was in the Dockers back in the day when they first started. Rove McManus te- uh, of Rove Live. And the Neeshams. He's, he's like cousins and, and it's okay. like there's a, there's a McManus. Yeah. Man and McManuses, Clarks, Neeshams, they're all all the families. I knew some of them through primary school and stuff too. Look at what, what am I doing <laughs> with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> Pod. Yeah, but okay. uh, here's one as well. I didn't realise that Rove is cousins, like sort of, I don't know if it's second or whatever, but somewhat related because they were going through all these footy players. Mm. Daniel Kerr, which means he's actually cousins with Sam Kerr. Oh. St- star striker S- Matilda, Matilda striker So Roving Manus is related to Sam Kerr Because Sam Kerr's brother's Daniel Kerr Who played in the AFL for yeah, yeah, West Coast So oh. Right So yeah. he's actually related to Sam Kerr well, They've got a nepotism in this country I know <laughs> And um, and here's another thing I didn't know Because I was seeing this I didn't realise And maybe I'm stupid for not realising That Rove's not his name at all 
Do you guys oh. know that? No, I had no I, idea. Yeah, I assumed Did it you guys just name. assume it was his real name? Yeah. I did, yes. I mean, no one would not assume that because he just says that that's, that's my name. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't have inverted commas around his yeah. name every time. Never, well, isn't he's never said hi? I am Rove Wink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, which is this is really annoying. I'm like, well, what the fuck's Rove? It's not his middle name. It's not his granddad's name. It's an yeah. Short well, I was gonna say like nickname. if you're Rover. playing if you're playing yeah if you're playing AFL like you're ro- like no. roving around right. Is his got, name Grover. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they shortened it to Rove. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. That's my guess. <laughs> it also I'll open up another question. Why did his parents call him Grover? <laughs> That's a more I interesting line. A, I think it would be cool if you called Grover so than Rove. Um, so Rove was a nickname given to him by his sister. And he says, just inf- inf- infuriatingly, he says he has no idea the story behind it. He's never revi- He's like, I don't really know why she called me that. And he's never, and never it's like. Never thought asked. to ask. Exactly. Yeah. So what's and his actual name? So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reveal. It's not like okay. So was that actually a question on ten um, millionaire hot seat? A ten thousand oh. dollar question. Oh. And wow. and uh, I'll get so <laughs> me being like, I think it's Grover. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not one of the four options. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> la- <laughs> the lady, the right, lady. I'm gonna waste all my you life. Friend, friend that someone called. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and Jamie's yeah. like, ah, uh, <laughs> looking at E Grover. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Grover. <laughs> um, so there's obviously uh, the lady on the tv show got it wrong uh which i found hilarious what she picked and i won't i'll tell you the answer in a minute but the four options were um so what is the fir- real first name of tv personality rove mcmanus um a john b kevin c greg or what she selected d darren, <laughs> <laughs> darren. It's john. It's john. so what are we going for okay what? say him again for yeah. me uh so it's not darren so it's either john kevin it's not grover so it's john <laughs> kevin or greg can I use a 50-50? I think it's John. Uh, I think it's John too. I, I, yeah, to be different, I'll say Greg. It, it is John. Lock in A and John, John is McManus. correct. John, How can you go for Darren? What was it? Darren. 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 And it's like John Darren is such McManus. a common name and it's the most common name that someone would just not use as their yeah. real yeah. name. That's yeah. a classic. Yeah, that's, that's a classic why John, a call me Jack, call me something yeah. else, right? But, um, so she went for John. Darren. Darren. McManus, he doesn't look John like a John Hen- McManus. John does Henry he? Michael McManus. So he could have been Henry, he could have been Michael, but somehow he just got Rose. Somehow he went with Grover. He we went with the old Grover. <laughs> they call me the Grover. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I think it's legitimate. <laughs> the big Grover. He would yeah. have 100% at school tried to spin it to Grove, you know, like, yeah. the big Grove's here. And they're like, shut up, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to take the G. Shut off, up, you Darren. Idiot. <laughs> or we'll start calling you Darren. Who was it that? Got fooled by Oh, that was going to bring this up. Yeah, uh, let's so, bring it. Go on. And so oh, one of the best stitch ups in probably one open of the best mic. open mic Sydney comedy pranks. Oh <laughs> stitch ups. It didn't I lead to know this. Well, so I don't know the backstory, but all I do know is that Freddie McManus, past guest Freddie McManus, fa- past guest friend of the pod, mm. Freddie McManus convinced Tom Sanderson that his uncle was Rove McManus. <laughs> oh my god, I think I remember this was like a while ago, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. bought it hook, hook, and line and, and sink. And for people <laughs> that. Don't, don't Fred. remember Freddie or haven't listened to this episode. Freddie, very, very, very English. British. Very, <laughs> very <laughs> comically. British accent. Very not subtle at all. Mentions Clearly. in his stand-up that he's from England. Clearly from England. <laughs> he's from England. And, all he, and it, I remember because... And at the time... I remember him Tom getting Sanderson. asked that. Someone asked Freddie in the in the context of the stitch up where to- uh, someone was like, Freddie, but you're English. Like that's the stupidest thing ever. And I remember Freddie clearly had this locked in. He's like, well, uh, my uncle, uh, yeah. Like my dad came here and was born here and then moved to England. Some bo- he had some backstory, but it was, still didn't really make sense. And at, <laughs> at the time as well, it was funny because Tom Sanderson was running probably the biggest open mic in Sydney. That would get yeah. sometimes like big name drop it. Like Dave Hughes or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would always ask Freddie, like if get, Rove was in town, being like, get your do, uncle you, down. do you think you could get your uncle? Down? <laughs> 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 just refers to him as his uncle. Poor yeah, yeah. poor Tom. Oh. Tom's like, just a like, very also, sweet yeah, guy who just, bo- he just believed like, his would, friend. <laughs> also would go around to people who didn't know and be like, did you know Freddie's related <laughs> to Rove McManus? And people would be like, hold on. And everyone would just be like, <laughs> just go. Um, just Is that why Sanderson it. left Sydney? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was Rove. one. There was one night in particular where Rove was around, and I think the joke was, <laughs> the joke was Rove that was Freddie had told Sam Campbell about the prank, and so was going oh, like that's and Freddie right. had told Sam like I think I've got be... Rove. I think Rove's going to come down to mug and kettle and perform a four minute set. <laughs> 
I've got Rove. My uncle is in town and I'm coming. <laughs> and, and so Sando was like, yes, I'm excited. We got Rove. Can I promote it? And we're like, do not promote it. <laughs> and he was going to get Cambo to come down and do a really bad Rove impression like for like four minutes and bomb. But at the last minute, Freddie had a change of heart and thought it was too mean to like publicly <laughs> just. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Tom. We yeah, love Tom. We love Tom. He's a very sweet boy. Um, but that was very fun. Uh, but he, this is something weird that I also saw. So that was mm. the Rove. But so McManus family, as you alluded to, they've got mm. like such a weird, like, uh, yeah, there's some sort of like um, history in the Perth area or whatever. But he yeah. he said that um, he went on, Rove went on, Who Do You Think You Are? You know that show where mm. they trace your lineage? Yep. And, um, Freddie McManus turned <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's from Exeter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, this is how like, I don't know, inbred or whatever the McManus family are. But he was shocked to find out he had family that were from South Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plot of the episode. Is Rove being like, what? You know, it's always like, he's like, hold on a minute. Did That's you say? All for generation, generation. Yeah, the same just pool. the same. The state the s- over. Wow, the city of church. G'day from SA? What? That doesn't make sense. You can't say g'day from SA. Um... And and I wanted, uh, but so that was that was my Frio celebrity. But I wanted to bring up uh, actually Yangjabup royalty. Yangjabup. 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 Yan. Is this one? Yan. 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 Yangjabup. We got it. Yangjabup. Yeah, we got it. All right, so Yangjabup royalty. Um, <laughs> I hope it's the same guy. I've got. Uh, maybe I don't know, but anyway, I'll, I'll don't don't spoil mm. it if it's not. But this is this blew my mind. Um, so it's a little sleepy suburb, right? Like how many people there? Couple. Thousand oh, or something. I have no idea because it got bigger. It got bigger. Okay, it got bigger. but it's it's you know it's it's not a city. It's just a suburb of, yeah. of Frio. But uh, so in 1999, um, uh, Maria Angela and Jose um, Viveros they left Portugal and moved to Yangjabup. Y- what a place to go. What a place to go. They moved. They left. Um, and they had 13 children, and four of them had, and That's actually classic Yangjabup, by the way. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hold <laughs> on a minute, yeah. you guys have got to get here. So th- out of 13 kids, four of them moved with them to settle in the area, and they tried to convince their daughter Maria to join them. Um, one of their 13 kids, but she was a bit on the fence. She said, no, you know what? I'm going to stay in Portugal because I've got to help my son's footballing career. Her son being Cristiano Ronaldo. What? Oh, what? so Cristiano Ronaldo's grandparents live in Yangjabup. In Yangjabup. They st- that's and I th- wild. Yeah, isn't that wild? That is insane. I, so I looked on Pelican Ramble. Yeah, <laughs> I looked at that for a while because, like, I first saw it on Facebook. Someone was just like, "Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo's parents are from here," and I was like, "That's got to be a joke." But then, yeah, you yeah. look into it. It's crazy. So they tried to convince. Like, it, I mean, I, I feel if like they um, go to the local parish. Do you reckon they'd be churchy? Yeah, I oh, think so. Sure. The, well, the, the reason that they moved there was they're actually from like um, Madeira, which is like a little island off the coast of like the Tasmania yeah. of Portugal or whatever. And, and everyone famous from that. for Madeira cake. Come on. Yeah. Oh, and also the Madeira Club that me and Kirk sometimes yeah. drink at. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, all like apparently in, like thousands of people from that island moved to the suburb. That's why they didn't just, they weren't the first one. So there is a Portuguese vibe there, right? Wow. Or maybe. Well, I wasn't really aware of that. I know that there is, um, there's like a, Sal- there were like a few Samoan families that were all part of the church. Like, so we, my family were very churchy. They like ran the mass. Is it Catholic or is yeah. it? Yeah. Right. And they helped build, they were on the building committee for the church that was built. Mm, right. And the whole school that was built. Mm. And it was just... Like my, f- when we were joking before about our family running the freaking <laughs> suburb, it was kind of <laughs> 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 <You guys? laughs> so insane. Yeah. You and the Ronaldos. <laughs> yeah. You run in this town. Well, this is, this is his granddad. It's so, so adorable. So he's, he's got a, I'll show you a friend, but he's oh, got oh, yeah. like very old look and he's got a shirt on which, which has Ronaldo's like face on it oh 15 God, times. Gorgeous. And that's his, that's Ronaldo's uncle. And he's like the Jeez. biggest, and look, you can see a little durry in his hair. That's a rough head. And, he, and so he's going around and he's like, no, like Jamie said, like he said, no one bloody believe me. I, he'd go around to the pub and go, that's my bloody nephew up on the TV. And then they'll yeah. be like, ah, oh, fucking come on, mate. And he's like, they don't, yeah, they don't believe me, but you know, they do now. I don't know how much Ronaldo gives a shit about, like apparently he's never been or oh, anything like that. Come on, and they keep visit. trying to get him. And, and, yeah. But he, he, look, if he, Ronaldo's listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's more of a messy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually, sorry, uh, he does love his grandparents because he flew them out to the World Cup. The, um, um, yeah, but he's he never been. He's Andrew never. Bob. He's <laughs> no, he doesn't love. He's not. 
can get A yeah. to WA. He's not that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that I thought that was. Fa- and they're I mean, still that's there. Really cool. Go visit yeah. your family. Go. Well, they he's been in Australia, I think. Didn't yeah. he come to the East Coast for the? I Met, think he's United? been here with United. Like, but they should do the over. thing, like you know, um, with Barry Gibb in Redcliffe. Get. Put up a little statue of Ronaldo. Yeah, well, he's never yeah. walked. He's never walked step foot there. It's just his grandparents. But yeah, but still, he could have. But tourism for a hot minute. Yeah. If they'd moved, think how many people go to Gaday, Japan, or whatever. <laughs> <it's called. laughs> but if they'd, but moved, they five earlier, if they'd yeah. moved five years earlier, chicken on the menu. If they'd moved five years earlier, they would have brought he, the what they're saying in the article. I don't know if it's a bit, of, but it, he would have moved yeah, with, so he and he would have grew up and like played for Perth soccer. Which I think there's a similar story about Messi. Yeah, there is. He almost his. Family almost moved to his Australia. His parents, when before he was born, like inquired about moving to Australia, and then they bailed um, in the last minute because they got pregnant with his brother or something. Right. So wow. there's like a, a another world where they both come here and they play rugby league in NFL, <laughs> <laughs> and they're earning 150 grand a year <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, there you go. So that was my little royalty for Love yeah. that. and your bub. Oh, I wish that. Um, I'm, I also kudos to you for just like sticking to however you want to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to no, cycle through every potential variation. Um, but that's. I, I wish that I'd met them. I've never like because mm. the people that I the people I know a vague memory from growing up is like the, the neighbor next door. Who's like would just like only wear budgie smugglers and always um, water the garden? Yes, you know? yes. Well, I love that, um, Mr. Slater. If I'm allowed to say his name, <laughs> 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 um, and the the Aboriginal family that was up the top of our cul-de-sac. Um, there was Benji and Frankie, and they'd always walk down and say Middleton. <laughs> <laughs> That's a- you know why though? Because on our letterbox it says Middleton. <laughs> <laughs> so they knew. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then the Pengalis up the top of the street who had like a million kids. Mm-hmm. It's classic. I don't know how they all fit in their big van. Everyone's got Tarragos. Oh, I love it. Because it's a Catholic. A a, is it Catholic area? Catholic big family sort of stuff. I mean, I guess so. Just- well, there's a lot of people that. Like there's the big there's the Catholic primary school down the kind of end that's closer to the Beerlia, which is the next suburb, and then um, then there's the the public school which is closer to where I live. But we'd walk all the way to the. So I guess there's like maybe a and mix is of is the Catholic school Divine Mercy College? No. Oh, because that has been in that was in the news recently. Was that's it? a Yanjabup school. Is that the, the one news. that's next to our our one? Our one, <laughs> Marta Christie. It used to be called McKillop, but then it changed its name to Marta Christie. I think it's been a, like it's been around since the eighties or nineties, I think, and it was in the, it was in the news twice in the last <gasps> three years. Let me what guess, for? COVID. Uh, that's one <laughs> ding ding ding. Some COVID a Perth thing. principal has threatened to shut down his ins- entire school rather than get a COVID jab mandated <laughs> for teaching staff by the Western oh Australian God. government. <laughs> principal Adam Zydek has sought legal advice on closing down Divine Mercy College in Yanjabub in the city south, fearful staff members have claimed. During a staff meeting, Mr. Zydek reportedly handed out anti vaccination literature, wow. blindsiding teachers who had just expected a regular school announcement. Every Everyone was in tears, the staff member told the West Australian. Some walked <laughs> out at the meeting. What? Yeah. That's yeah. a little bit much. <laughs> <laughs> One staff member claimed the principal had previously vocalised his opposition of vaccines because he believed they posed a greater risk than COVID-19. They claimed the principal also told teaching staff that the technology used to develop vaccines had aborted baby fetuses in it. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. Mm. Um and then the staff member said that the principal also claimed that the police would arrive at people's homes to forcibly administer the jab and put them in concentration <laughs> camps. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. This guy's a bit of a cook. Uh, yes. So basically he's uh, led this, this guy has led the school since 96, refused to comment publicly on uh, his personal views about That's the vaccine. That's way too long to be leading a school, yeah. by the way. That's yeah. Needs totally. to he gets reported out. on. And then, obviously, like people, like he's going to shut down the school. He's threatening to shut down the school because of the jab. He sees this and then is in the news again a couple of days later because he's trying to uh, spin it so he seems like a good guy. So basically, he's saying that, like, uh, well, I'm not actually closing the school. What I am doing is I will pay all staff who don't work if they don't want to get the vaccine. Okay, that's what I'm doing. 
And then he it's wrote not a, a bad le- deal. Yeah, what he sort wrote of authority a- as a principal. I feel like it was just <laughs> yeah. like you know what I mean. It's not your little fiefdom. Yeah, that you can, yeah. I mean we've learned a lot <laughs> you know? about principles. Like we saw a guy in Parramatta who fucking Build got a in plunge trouble pool. by a yeah, plunge yeah, pool and stored in a school <laughs> home. Yeah, like, so that's the blows um, my mind. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we're all invited. Uh, <laughs> pool party. But oh basically, yeah, he wrote a letter <laughs> to remember. all the parents at the college saying that the school wouldn't actually close, and he's not actually an anti-vaxer, but. Then he had to go at Mark McGowan, the premier, for imposing mandatory vaccination rules on teachers. And so he was just kind of saying, like, I'm not anti-vax, but people should be able to do the research and turn it down if they want. Also, it has Mark, a lot of babies in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My- Mark McGowan's running a to- totalitarian dictatorship, all that kind of mm. bullshit. And then... Um, so he gets it's in trouble. Sorry, I'm not racist, but yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. really like, come on. Dude. He gets in trouble for that. And then he's in the news again the next year for something completely different Mm. because uh, it says a private school in Perth South has threatened to charge parents by the hour if they drop their kids off early or pick them up late. (laughs) So it said that uh, this guy, Principal Zydek, he uh, issued a warning to parents in a newsletter threatening to refer parents to the Department for Child Protection if they repeatedly left their kids alone outside the school gates. So... Yeah, basically, he was saying that staff stay on for a certain amount of time, 45 minutes. We th- actually think that's pretty good. Every minute, uh, every bit later, that's a dollar extra that you have to <laughs> pay. Oh just come God. up with these yeah. rules. Yeah, he said, after numerous communications to a very small number of parents, the school has chosen to take this step. And, yeah, so wow. that, that's... that's this, guy, this guy just loves being in the news. yeah. 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 I um, went to see what he's he does putting next. the up on the map. Thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that's. There's a famous like economics paper where people tried to do that because the parents were picking their kids up late, and so they were like, "Well, people react to prices, right? So we'll do that. We'll charge yeah. you if you for whatever you're half an hour late, you get charged this much." And they thought like Genius. rational incentives will make people go, "I don't want to pay that," but it had the opposite effect because people then paid a price, so they go. Well, it's babysitting, so, yeah, 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 so everyone yeah, yeah. will come later, and, and they wouldn't feel guilty, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's they like take I'll pay the guilt out of it. And exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, actually, what was it? Is it? I feel like was it one dollar an hour or a minute that he said? <laughs> dollar an hour? That's a bargain. Wow. Yeah. 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 Dollar an hour. He's doing that till fucking ten p.m. He's doing a stock day sale or something like that. End of year financial sale. Liquidation. Yeah, liquidation. I found a story that it's a bit of a two parter here. And I, I love c- that this is actually you guys telling me about the suburb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chime in if you've got. If you think we're <laughs> oh, most yeah. of the things that you've said, I don't know shit about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we do find that a bit where people have like ended the pot and like, I had no idea about. Yeah, because I mean, any you, of this you shit. grow up there, so you have this like little tunnel yeah, vision of totally. what. Probably life you is. haven't spent the last ten years googling news <laughs> about your local <laughs> town, like really weird I'm stories. So yeah. um, and oh, by the way, did you when you your parents still there? Yeah. Oh, same okay. House. So you go back and you're in the same, same street. Yeah, Beautiful. We go. Yeah. I like that. Like I that. love, yeah, like visiting your childhood home if, like, it can spin it's you out. Pretty crazy. Yeah. I've done, like, the, you know, we, we spent a lot of time in one house, then we moved a lot of time in this house. And now my mum's in Queensland. So it's rare that I go, I go visit my nan or whatever. But if I ever drive around my old house, it, like instantly it like yeah. spun out a little bit. We're like, mm. oh, we fuck, drive I past so my old place where I grew up and, and my dad would be like, Look what they've done to the place. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are they thinking about? That's what my mum says. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I, wouldn't have put, I wouldn't have dug that tree up. Oh, uh, I would not. <laughs> but my mum's like, oh, they painted that thing. I've been saying that you should have painted that 20 years ago. You know? It's all this whole, yeah, every funny. time. Yeah. I found an old mate and I think, I want to bring it up because it, it's just giving me Freo energy. Okay. Of this bloke. I tried for the life of me to find exactly where he was from, but it just says Perth man. Mm. I tried to find this guy <laughs> on Facebook. Classic Perth man. Perth man. Oh, I yeah. think he's, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's sort of trying to make himself go, um, you know, off the radar a little bit. Mm. So this is the first story, November 14, 2016. Perth man 32 <laughs> missing in Bali after Tinder date. Oh, okay. oh no! Oh, well, he's so put his distance pretty wide. <laughs> <laughs> he's matching in yeah. Bali, and Temper everyone song. from Perth is in Bali. Yeah, yes. 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 everyone goes there. Well, it's just a hop at, over the. It's not that well, everyone over the in drink. primary school just all of a sudden people got braids in their head. I'm like, what the hell? And they're like, oh yeah, we just went to Bali. I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay, everyone yeah. except us. It's no. like going to the what Gold Coast. It from, it's probably from, closer, from, right? It'd be closer like, than the East Coast from Perth yeah, to Bali. I think so. It would be. Yeah, yeah, because you kind of have to fly like four hours or something. Yeah, maybe? You what's Perth to Sydney? You could pop hours? over for a weekend, right? Yeah, 
There you go. Um, so Perth man, 32, missing in Bali after Tinder date. Just first line of the article. Relatives of, of a Perth-based man who failed to return after a Bali holiday with a woman he met on Tinder fear he's met with foul play. So he meets his chick on Tinder and he's like, do you want to go to Bali for the weekend, Jesus right? Christ. But why so, do they fear foul play? Maybe it's just like, I don't want to go home now. Totally. Yeah, I'm in Bali. What the hell? What? Exactly, exactly. So that's November 14, 2016. November 17, 2016. Missing Perth man, Josh Goodsward, uh, <laughs> quote, found oh, playing... Oh, was he? Quote, found playing bongos in Thailand. <laughs> 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 oh yeah Yeah that's good <laughs> you just, Someone was just like We've looked for him For three weeks And like Have we thought about Tyler <laughs> yeah. Have we thought oh, about of course. Drumming yeah. 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 Legit that's what happened mm. He went on a Tinder date To Bali And then was like I don't want to go home So he fucked off to Thailand mm. And just joined A drumming Living circle On the beach <laughs> and, and meanwhile He's making the paper Back home That's very South for you Yeah Turn your phone off Go for a week <laughs> Retreat You turn it on Your mum's got 800 the missed calls yeah. yeah the freaking Like West Australian newspapers <laughs> all over you. You're like, Mum, you're so embarrassing. I was just in Thailand in a bongo circle. Yeah, I was just having a fucking That's bongo. So good. You mentioned Amazing. that you uh, were unfamiliar with the brasserie that got mentioned earlier. So what was the kind bail. of... Yes. What was the local uh, bar or pub when you were around? Oof. Um, well, w- well, when Gateways opened up, there was The Gate. The Gate is mm. the, was the pub that started when that whole shopping centre... A lot of the bad reviews of the, of the Vale had people threatening or saying, just go to the gate instead. Just go to the gate. Go to the gate. Yeah, it's better yeah, up yeah. there. And the gate, you know, you'll have like someone sing, someone's playing guitar and someone's singing, you Beautiful. know, all, just all the time. Yeah. Just, and then there's like, I remember that it was a big thing because they had those misters out uh, in the, like, yeah. in the, yeah, in the yeah, courtyard. Yeah. I love Ooh. them. I still think they're fun. Yeah, they're they're kind of fun. That's they're a good fun. Cool. But um, I didn't, my parents didn't go to the pubs. You weren't a big dream. party girl or, or pub girl growing up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was growing up, House I would parties? go to Frio. Ah, right. Not, uh, you wouldn't stay in, in the bup, which is what I... <laughs> 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 and I'm going to use that from now on <laughs> because it's a lot easier to pronounce. I either say um, Yange or the bup. Mm, I like that. I like both. They're both yeah, good, yeah. The bup's, the bup's real fun to me. Yeah. But <laughs> So no, so no house parties or anything in oh, the yeah. area. Oh yeah, there's definitely because there's a, house some big party. area, okay, uh, big properties, right? There's some, um, yeah, lots of big. Um, what do you call them? <laughs> How you see parties? front yards? <laughs> 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 like I remember, like being off my face and rolling around in a, you know, someone's front yard. Nice. Just yeah, I don't know who's. Just but that's that was a done thing. Big lawn. Roll around in a big lawn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a guy. It was a news article about uh, um, a uh, police were repeatedly called to large and noisy parties from the same house <gasps> for three consecutive days. Right. Yeah. So three like a days. Rager. Yeah, that rager. But the the so the uh, on Be- um, Belia Drive. Belia Drive. Belia yeah. Drive in the Bup near <laughs> near Coburn Central. Um, th- it was burn. so big one of the parties on one of the nights mm-hmm. that the police like helicopters had to be brought <laughs> in. Jesus, there was a hundred and fifty people mm. um, there, and uh, the owner or the the tenant, I guess, was um, quoted. He talked to the news, and he's like, "Look, it was all going pretty well until the police rocked up, barging in, unwelcome. <laughs> like, <laughs> they like, weren't invited. They weren't. Who <laughs> are you, mate? List. Who do you know here, mate? You know, <laughs> <laughs> crash um, the party in a helicopter. But Troy said the parties were all for oh a good God, reason. Of course, there's a Troy. There's a Troy yeah. here. Yeah. Troy. <laughs> Troy Grover, uh, <laughs> as That's they call uh, Friday night, he, this is so he's talking to the media and he's like, listen, it wasn't a three night like rage a thon. We had three separate parties. Friday night was an 18th, Saturday was a farewell, and Sunday was a fundraiser for a friend. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> so he's sort of saying, that, and then he's, police officers were pelted with bottles as they tried to move more than <laughs> 100 yeah. youths. And Troy said it, the police. Oh, I bet they were Maloos as well, those youths. What's that? Those big Malu fucking, is that what they're called? What are they? like Holden fucking. Right. Like the huge the, utes. The utes and they're always coloured like an aggressive shade of like metallic orange. Oh, or oh my God. Right. Uh, metallic know. lime green Numenara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. used to be the car that I wanted when I was in high school. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to say all the words. <laughs> metallic lime green Numenara. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many like big, big Holden Commodores yeah, around yeah, yeah. there. And that in orange. Yanjibar. I can just, uh, yeah, I can see the orange the ute. and the green. The that orange was like and a the green. Metallic yeah. orange yeah. and yeah. Yeah. metallic green. Yeah. But I didn't know the cops had those. That's pretty. Oh, wild. I thought you meant I was trying to move the Utes from this park. No, I said oh, Utes. Oh, Utes. 
<laughs> I saw I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alex, you know big metallic orange youth? <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah, everywhere. Like, yeah. Like huge like trays coming out. Also immediately was like, oh, you've been to Angebel. Everyone in their big front yards and lawns. Yeah. There's all yeah, so yeah. many utes totally, and cars totally. and like Commodores and utes. Yeah, but it, it looked like from the footage, it was just a massive paddock. It wasn't like a little like yeah. packed in street. So it was a huge uh, house. Okay, yeah. And so uh, the police officers were pelted with bottles and the Troy... Um, in his great <laughs> PR spin, he's talking to the news. He's like, no, 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 the police, they threw them back at the crowd. So he's saying, we threw bottles at them, sure, but they threw it back at us. You know, like, yeah. like, you got to understand the, how the cops at all yeah. do, dude. You know what I mean? Um, so he, apparently the nearby residents say that this te- the tenants moved in about three months ago and there have been parties at the home every single weekend. People are saying that apparently that he keeps advertising on Facebook and it's a ten dollar entry fee for all oh, youths. So this guy's yeah. just making it cash, Dang, yeah. wow. huge money, and he's a bit of a bogan. And they and they said when asked if he would keep throwing parties, Troy said he mixed up two phrases. He said in a drop beat. So we meant in the drop of a hat in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> so he says in a drop beat. Right? Uh, yeah, fuck which, yeah. Which oh, is great. That. So there. So I, I saw that and I'm like, it must that's, be that's a, sub party area, like big, yeah. big, uh, big houses, lots of land. Yeah, lots yeah. of people with. Bloody cars. <laughs> <laughs> no what, no franny going wild on the front lawn, rolling around. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, but you'd also like spread out to, like you'd go to the Cardi in Cardinia, mm-hmm. you know, the, it, to get pissed. Or you'd go to the Orient in Frio. Yep. Or um, where else would we go? And what are you, what are we? Spearwood's another suburb nearby. Then we've got our own Kooji, coo- we say instead of Kooji. Kooji. Mm. That's where I did my swimming was. <laughs> <laughs> is that a beach? It's a perfect yeah. pool, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Um, but, but yeah, I remember like rolling around in the sand, drunk. Like, yeah, you just go in parks or at the beach or just anywhere. It's a lot yeah. of rolling around. Me as a teenager getting pissed, I'm rolling around. One vodka cruiser, <laughs> just <laughs> rolling through the dunes. Have a surface, have just a surface, because I'm on a roll. <laughs> Middleton's rolling around again. <laughs> <laughs> Must See be trashed. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> <laughs> Imagine walking to a party in the front yard, all these utes parked, and then you just see Fran rolling. It's <laughs> <laughs> like at the skate park, you're going up the vert. Like you just can't are do you, it. Are you going spin. like? Are you going like wee while you do it, or are you just solemnly rolling? I think I'm lost in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> just you're just solemnly. a prisoner. Yeah, quietly and reverently. <laughs> solemnly rolling. Just yeah, respectfully just rolling. rolling. <laughs> Attitude. <laughs> She's just sad one day. Just rolls down the hill. Rolls down the street. Oh. Wow, I never realised till now how much I love rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you you said you got. Fairly religious parents or family, so they mm. would they turn a blind eye. Or are you sneaking off in the night? Oh, sneaking big time. Yeah, <laughs> oh older sisters, by the way, or younger. So one older and then three younger. Okay. And one night, um, I got back at like after sunrise, and I was like, oh my god, I can't roll like, get back <laughs> in. I can't get back in because they're up. I can't roll. <laughs> I can't roll in the front <laughs> door. I can't roll in. So I texted um my sister who has diabetes, like the injecting mm-hmm. one. And I was like, can you come to the front door and pretend you're having a low? Like when you're having a low, like okay. a hypoglycemic, it's mm-hmm. like you like don't really know where you are and it's uh, like you desperately need sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, so and roll like, around a bit and say that's a symptom <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bit of cover. And I'm yeah, going to yeah, deal yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, I'm, I'm just, you know, helping her out. Um, so she came and opened the front door and then I just ran straight to the bathroom. And then mum had come down like, Beth, why are you standing near the door? And Beth was just like, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, good cover, too. And so Great then cover. she thought she was having a low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just come out of the bathroom and be like, what's all this commotion? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yeah. Can you stop having a low? I'm trying to sleep in here. Yeah, crazy. Uh, also, a bunch of um, theft going on around, I remember. Oh, no. Well. You, yourself? I had to, huh? You were thieving? No, I just remember there's some, the other uh, memory that comes up is that I saw the door down the corridor from mine, uh, which another sister was supposed to be in. I saw the uh, the light turned on and I was like, hang on, she's staying at her friend's place. And then I was like, got up and walked down and then the door slammed like at me and I was like, hey, what are you doing? For? Like I just used this, like we never swear in our house. And I was like, fuck, fuck you, get out of the fucking house. And then, and then they leapt through the window. Oh, oh wow. That's freaky. How old are you? I was, I don't know. Like. 15 maybe. Oh, And you scared shit. them off. Yeah. Fuck I want to run and hit. 
Yeah, <laughs> I would have been under the bed. But I'm I think like, that was my fault. Please, sir, because, please, please, <laughs> please. Because I sneak in through there. Maybe they, you know. They'd seen you. The fly mm. screen had just Did kind they of take broken anything? a bit. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. they take anything? Or they just mm. got scared off? I don't know. I just had the wardrobe doors open and close a bit. But ah, that's freaky shit. Did you yeah. tell your parents? Yeah, because I was immediately like, oh, I, I don't even know what I said. Like, I was immediately worried that they would have heard me swear. <laughs> <laughs> the the, as opposed the to house like, has been robbed. You may or may not have heard me use some colourful language. <laughs> it was them. It was them. <laughs> oh, that would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Mom, there was a guy crashing through the wardrobes and he was saying the F word <laughs> in, a, in a girlish voice. <laughs> Rolling around, leaving roll marks. My sister once like got up in the middle of the night screaming and ran up into the rest of the house and woke everyone up. She said there was a bald man trying to get in her window, and she said like she op- she turned on the light and there was a bald man climbing in her window. And Dad went out there and it was a possum. <laughs> a possum's ass was like looking at her window. We never let her live that one down. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you're half asleep. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. It was, very funny. was it a, like a? I was also scared of the possum. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, That's scarier. Maybe. Yeah, totally. I don't know what she thought she saw. Yeah, yeah very specific about the bald. Like, yeah, she, she says, a bald man. There's a bald man. <laughs> I was very adamant. It was a bald guy. Uh, but what? But in your suburb, did you have just like people that would just walk around? Like, I think yeah, Andrew was a very. Oh, there's always just people walking yeah, around. Yeah, no, yeah. no. It's like a bit sus walking around. You know, but it wasn't because there were so many people doing it. Like, um, I don't know. There's just the like army. the classic. Oh, there's that guy that walks around all the time. You yeah. know, mm, yeah, yeah with I know the what black you mean. Button-up shirt and the flames coming I, up. Yeah. You know, yeah. Did we we had a guy that would drive around and they would just go, "Oh yeah, don't like get in his car." And it was that. That's what they'd say because he was just a weird local guy, mm-hmm. which is such a weird thing because it's like you'd sh- surely like I feel like if he was a pedophile. Maybe give us a bit more information. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. But if he isn't, it's also pretty, <laughs> pretty crook just to accuse us. I don't yeah. know if, if he tried to get someone in his car or something like there was that. An, there was an old lady who used to walk around um, Thomas Royal Gardens, mm-hmm. and she used to fucking crack me up because she would have been in her like seventies or eighties. This tiny old lady, and she'd shuffle around the street, but she'd always have a big bright yellow G unit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And it, like we clearly one of her, her grandkids just gave her this jacket and she's like, ah, that's a, it's a warm Grandma jacket. Grandma unit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Perfect. They call her G. Yeah. yeah. G Cute. unit. I oh, love that. She's so, that's great. I got one uh, way back in the day when we were recording some of our first Perth episodes. We oh yeah, were, who else are you, are you chatted to from? Uh, We've had Portelli from Frio. Portelli. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Eloise. Beck Oh yeah, of course. Um, I think that's the four so far, um, right? Brady. Oh, Brett Blake, Blake as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and we were um, introduced to the concept of uh, Perthonalities. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that so for li- yeah, so they're local celebrities that the rest of Australia doesn't know about. Like, yeah, yeah. Like um, I don't know, Rick Arden, who used to be like the news presenter. Or yeah, someone, you know? yeah, yeah, something yeah. Like that. Yeah, there's one uh, who. Or well, Fred Bodiger from Bodiger's Bunch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> is that a local that? shop or something? <laughs> That's a radio guy. Yeah. <laughs> there's one uh, who uh, started in Yanjibup. His name is uh, Tony Galati. Oh uh, uh, yeah. He's a basically like a Known bloke. for his potato shop. Yeah, he owns a, <laughs> he owns a spud <laughs> shed. Guy? Spud <laughs> shed. How funny. I forgot it was called spud shed, so I called it potato shop. <laughs> <laughs> and ba- like he's real famous for being like the face of it, and he's got big fucking bushy black eyebrows, and he wears mm. like a navy, navy singlet. Mm. And he is famous because he uh, took on essentially Big Potato and oh. won. Hey, Wow, nice. wow. okay. So – like this the big potato outside, <laughs> like a farm up north or something. This is like yeah, and a big farmer farm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like you find out like things sometimes for this podcast, and you're just like, this fucking exists. But apparently in <laughs> Perth, there is a potato regulator. Uh, <laughs> it's called the be. WA Potato Marketing Corporation, and basically they set limits on stores about the variety and quantity of. Potatoes that farmers yeah. so it's can a sell. So it's a potato cartel or something. Yeah. Well, also, do you remember, well, you guys wouldn't know maybe, but um, Mark Mitchell, that actor. Yeah, yeah, he's Con the Fruiterer. Yeah, Con the Fruiterer. Mm. Yeah, but he, he'd say, what, no Western potato? Mm. Like there was a, ho- a big thing and it was all about West. Oh, whoa, whoa. This In is unison, scandalous. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so the crowd went, mm. So that's go, clearly what, a no thing. Western potato? Really? Like this. That's a very deep cut bit for him to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
Uh, so, a so big what thing about Western potatoes? So that yeah. they won't allow them he, to. Well, it's a yeah. central. It sounds like you know. So I think in like Nordic countries, the government buys all the alcohol, and you can only buy alcohol from government-run store. And Ca- there's certain, Canada, certain sh- um, states in the US yeah. do it as well. Yeah, and um, at least so, in Ontario. So is that what it? Kind sort of. of it's it's just, I think like the idea is to. From the potato regulator side, is kind of like to, to be like we give everyone a fair go, so that there's no kind of farming monopoly. Mm. Going and they pool around. all they they have. I think they have like um, there was a, there's a maple syrup in Canada. It's a very uh, similar yeah. thing. You can the growers can only sell to the mark this thing, and then they pool in a glut season. They ha- keep some some in storage, and then yeah. when it's and so that it basically is like so no one goes broke and yep, yep, boom yep. to bust stuff. Yep. I don't know if that's yeah. the same thing. But so yeah. yeah, well, this potato regulator. Like it set limits on like how much potatoes you could sell, what the potatoes mm. are. He's in a decades long battle with them, and in wow. 2016 gets in a lot of trouble because he like gives away like tons, and I mean like actual tons mm. of uh, free potatoes as part of like a as part of an advertising campaign, drum up publicity, and like fuck you regulators. Must, like, did they include that in the musical? They wrote a musical about Tony. That's Gallardi. where I was going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> If they, don't, if they don't, if they don't include that in the musical, yeah. I'm gonna see this musical. Yeah. If they're like, we gotta cut the part where he <laughs> took on the regulator. When he took on the regulator, and won. Yeah, no. the what? regulator not only conceded defeat, it abolished because of him. Wow. So like, it's no more. So yeah, there after that, they made. A, a, they do you made know anyone a, that was in the musical? Because you're like a theatre background, right? I do know some people who were in the musical. Oh, I love that. Anyone from like the improv world? Do you know anyone yeah. who auditioned and didn't get the part of like a potato <laughs> farmer potato number three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few potatoes were very sad. They're like, please, may I be the hero potato? <laughs> I'm only a chorus. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you back. You're in the whole potato suit, <laughs> waiting for the bus home. They're like, they didn't like me. Yeah, so 2019, 2020, there was Tony Galati, the musical at Perth Fringe World. Yeah. That uh, smash rules. hit musical about how Tony Galati took on the potato regulators and won. So he was known because he had the potato shop and he'd do the ads potato himself. Potato shop, you call it that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spud shed. Spud shed. shed. <laughs> but, he, but he did his own ads on TV or something, I imagine. Like, he, was he I a think celebrity before that? he was fairly well known as, like... The spud shed guy. Got, yeah, I the spud shed guy. I think there are a couple of spud sheds around. Yeah, I think there are a few, yeah. Mm. But, but I, I actually never really knew too much about it when I was growing up for some reason. I don't know. Because there's also, like, classic north of the river, south of the river. Yeah, and um, and I guess you're like maybe the north of the river they ate potatoes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't want to. Frankly, know. I don't want to. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't know who's going like shopping, and then they just go, "Let's go." I got to get some potatoes. We'll go to the potato shed. I got to get some carrots. Let's go to carrot market for that. <laughs> it's like, is that all he's doing? Just flogging potatoes? Just yeah. potatoes. You just got your trolley I'm down not the sure aisle. If it's actually yeah, a aisle. specialty <laughs> potato store. I think it might be a grocery. They do a bit of everything. They're yeah. on Uber Eats, guys. They're on Uber Eats. You can order three different kinds of raw <laughs> potato on it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. oh the driver ate my potato. This is bullshit. There's I gotta look this musical up. I wanna see it. That sounds oh, very yeah, fun. I never saw it. Um but yeah, I heard it. I imagine they can't it. really tour it around the country. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty local yeah. local market. They might there. have, I'm not sure. Um yeah. there's another classic like WA um, character who sounds kind of similar in the you know, the dark blue singlet which mm. used to have a bad name um and then uh, but he'd, he'd also have um like the handkerchief that you tie into little knots you know those classic like not kind a of bandana a, but it's uh, like an old italian man yeah, style yeah, thing. I think it's I know just like a yeah, handkerchief yeah, yeah, yeah. and then not there and not there yep. um and it was this this actor um i realized later his name's sam fortuna and he's actually an opera singer because I was in an opera when I was a kid as well. I did so many weird shit. We can't things. brush over that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, but we've done fifteen minutes. We haven't. Done <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not Gantam up specific. It's <laughs> fine. Um, uh, but he goes. He's he was the main guy for WA Salvage. He goes, mm-hmm. we're not fancy, but we're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, like that. that's, the, that's the classic character that everyone's like, oh, the WA Salvage guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is, what is WA Salvage? What are they I doing? think it's like just a s- like a salvage warehouse. Oh, store, right. Like okay. Just, like Vinny's or something. Vinny, right? okay, sure. Yeah, but yeah, I've never right. gone, but I just saw like big like kind of <laughs> – Billboards with this guy like ah. <laughs> like, I love someone who would be like, hold oh, on, the Salvation Army store. They're not fancy. <laughs> <laughs> like I was expecting some fancy stuff here. So what was his opera? You yeah, were in? let's circle back to the oh, opera. Oh no, like, I was in a lot of things when I was a kid. I was in a musical. Um, 
Ugh. Are you Did the only one of your family of your sisters that? No, my older sister became an opera singer. Oh, oh my god! But the only reason that I started to go to perform from like in professional musicals and stuff like that is because my older sister wanted to go along for this audition for Sound of Music mm-hmm. um, and then I got a part and she didn't. Oh, <laughs> no. no tough classic ride home. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But now she's like... It's like Sideshow Bob and Cecil. Oh, no. <laughs> Same thing happened <laughs> Which to Which went on my, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she's a singer. Like she's got she's a great... An she's an actual singer. opera singer just, now. Wow. wow. Um, and I'm an actual idiot. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I was, it was in Sound of Music when I was eight years old uh, at oh, Majesty's Theatre like yep, proper with, like cute. as an eight year old with like costume changes and you know you've got your head head mics like, and this is an you adult and production and a you're a kid not production. all kids yeah, yeah, yeah. wow and then it, um, so that was in the city and then in Subiaco, there was La Boheme, which is an Italian opera that this guy was in. Mm-hmm. The We're Not Fancy But We're Cheap guy. I was like, oh, my God. Savage. I'm, <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> All the stars are here. <laughs> the spud shed guy. <laughs> so funny. I'm running around as a street urchin singing Italian. I don't know what it means, like in any of the words that I learnt. And then That's pretty cool. Um, That's pretty good. Another one there. Well, speaking yeah. of musicals that you've been in, this is actually not the first time that you've popped up on this pod. What? Because during um, oh, Tom Walker's this. episode, yeah, he, I, he's I, from I f- North Sydney. Yeah, yeah, he's from North Sydney, and I found uh, a rap video for the North Sydney Council. <laughs> <that you're laughs> <in. laughs> and we played it for him, and he was like, "Is that Fred?" <laughs> <laughs> well, the best part was Drew's like, "I found this uh, North oh, Sydney yeah. Council rap," and then he showed it to me, and I like before the pod, I'm like. That's Fran. <laughs> and he goes, no, it's not. No, and I like, said, is this Fran? Because I was like, like well, it kind of looks like Fran. But and I'm like, yeah, it's clearly Fran. <laughs> it's like 100, but it's not like a blurry, like, big <laughs> switch not, photo. It's not a composite <laughs> photo <laughs> from the gate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, so yeah. tell us what that was about. North Sydney is a place of wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you don't lose it. <laughs> oh, my God. It was yeah, so it's like riding a bike. Mental. Never goes away. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Like, I had to help. I had did to, have to write that? it and help change some words for it too. Okay, drop yeah. the end bombs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cut them out. Yeah. Yeah. In the original, I was like, maybe we, d- maybe we don't. Uh, North Sydney's not that yeah. vibe. Yeah. <laughs> That's North the end word. North. The end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that would have been fun though. That was pretty fun just because I got to wear cool shit. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah you were pretty decked out, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're on the G unit, your yeah. granny's G unit, your granny unit. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's so embarrassing. Oh, uh, that was fun. <laughs> um, James, should we hit the last three? Yes, yes. So Ooh. the first question, Fran, is if someone says, hey, I'm coming to the BUP mm. for a day. I need an itinerary, something to do morning, afternoon and night. What do you tell them to do? Where do you tell them to go? Firstly, I say, do we have to stay in the BUP? Can we just go to Frio? <laughs> <laughs> so you can absolutely Fair hang around say, the area. You can say, yeah. Yeah. I reckon... Um, Oh, it could be fun to just roll around. <laughs> roll around on the, on the grass. Uh, nice Yanjum up Oval. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yanjum up Oval is a classic. Is the lake, is it, do people go for a walk around the lake? Is it uh, No, you'd actually go to Bibra Lake, which okay. is nearby. That's a bigger bigger one. That's near Adventure World. Oh, did anyone talk about Adventure no, World? No. None that? of the people from, from WA spoke about Adventure World. I think Brady World. might have mentioned maybe. it. Maybe. Maybe. What is it? Okay. That? Um... Adventure World. <laughs> <laughs> That's the promo for oh, it. <laughs> oh, WA's just built on TV jingle nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, and they have like adult pool parties there. Oh, what? It's so weird. That's like what? it's what? kids. Mm. It's like a kids like theme park basically. Yeah. And you can get like a family season pass or whatever, and you just go on the you know the rides mm-hmm. or the the slides or whatever the hell. But then sometimes they close it <laughs> and they say, adult pool party. <laughs> on this. Oh, no. I've never been and I never want to go. It sounds would, yeah, disgusting. I would, yeah. I would love to see the kind of people who go to that adult pool party. Yeah. I, I was like, love I better go just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I better yeah, go. I would love to go. <laughs> just, I better report back. I imagine it's. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a bunch of the alcohol that they're it'll serving. Be I'm sure alcohol some guys are there. Like, it costs 25 bucks, yeah. a DJ. Mm. Probably like a famous Perth DJ. Maybe they'll have the salvage guy come out. But you out know there's 5% like of the guys turn up thinking an orgy might break out. Yeah, yeah. There's like, yeah, yeah I know yeah, me yeah, and Drew yeah. would show up thinking <laughs> that. Well, I'm just picturing like a like hundred Danny McBrides walking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. sure. Yep, yep, yep. There's definitely wow. those kind of people in... in Sonny's on the back of the edge. head. Or the bop, yeah. So you roll around for a bit. Roll around on the oval, then you go to Adventure World. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> cool off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I reckon, oh, what's classic bop? I mean, the Chinese restaurant's awesome. Uh-huh. I worked there for a long time. Yeah. Um, Very I'm authentic. not Chinese. <laughs> Very authentic. <laughs> it was oh. great. There was um, Lynn and Patrick, and um, they took us to Yum Cha in Northbridge. There's a place called Northbridge in Perth. Um, and taught us all about, you know, like the chicken feet dishes and yeah. all of everything. Like they were really, mm. like, it was really cool. And like, called like Huru Chinese or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. G'day it, Korean. It was called Lakeland's Chinese Restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Says what it does. Chinese Says what it does on the sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Does it have a jingle? Um, <laughs> no. Actually, oh, it plays. Oh my God. You know, classic, like, suburban Chinese restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, the music is just like a CD on loop of like, um, covers of old 90s songs just played delicately on piano. Yeah. So it's like, you know that Just Another Lemon Tree song? Yeah. It was, I wonder how, I wonder why. You tell me, you know, mm-hmm. but it's that but on the piano. It's beautiful on piano. <laughs> it's terrible. Haunting. <laughs> and yeah, what, like 10 tracks jingle. and then starts again? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. go mad. Yeah. <laughs> very, very anyway. cool. So I go there for, for, for dinner or an early dinner or something. Yeah, and then yeah. where are you hitting the night? Right. you got to hit the Frio, Okay, I guess. Frio. So I worked in a few pubs in Frio. So the Scaly Wanker, as I like to call it, or Sail and Anchor, <laughs> is probably <laughs> like, it's a bit of an inst- institution. They used to have buskers out the side of it there. There was the Pirate Man who... R.I.P. Oh. Everyone knew him in the busking community. <laughs> like there's, yeah, the Frio is like a whole other thing to talk about, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he'd always like get up really high on top of something and everyone's around. He's got his little head mic and then <laughs> sailing it. He's doing, Brit- hit, me, hit me baby one more time <laughs> with, a, with a Britney Spears He's like mic. high up on the end of a stick in front of everyone. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, and sailing anchors right there. And there was a man called Old Irish who would always come in and piss his pants and we'd all just have to be like, leave. <laughs> 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 Sounds like an Eric Hutton sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, let him stay. <laughs> I remember once because he wasn't responding. I like one of our one of the chicks who I was working with was like, just don't say anything and just point. So we were just like silently and just pointing and staring at him. <laughs> well, he's trying Do to train wait? a dog or so something. Also, like you that. wait for him to piss his pants and <laughs> yeah. then point no, out. We like like by the time you know we're like running plates of food or whatever, yeah, and right. then we notice he's there. We're like, oh no, like, <laughs> quick, hold on. So she so come in and he's like. I'm about to do it. <laughs> he doesn't. He's non nonverbal. Okay. Oh, he doesn't do it. Oh, oh, poor, poor old Irish. Irish. Poor old yeah. Irish. Anyway. Oh, very yeah, good. Yeah, so then go to Sail and Anchor maybe. Isn't maybe then at Sail and Anchor, Little Creatures. What's the late? Is there a late night, like, absolute last sort of saloon? The Clunk. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a name. It's actually called The Clink. Uh-huh. But we call it The Clunk because you'll see high school teachers there. <laughs> <laughs> And is that because it's in the old jail or whatever? Yeah, I, I don't know. Hang on, it's not in the old. It's just like down the side of like where there's this bar called Benny's. So there's the cap strip, the cappuccino strip <laughs> in Frio, which is like the main drag. Uh-huh. Um, and there's like all these little very Italian kind of cafes or bars or whatever. And and then there's Metro's, Metro's Frio, which you can imagine is just like people sinking golden showers, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever drink no, those? I'm just I assume that was it's like not on just each yeah. I assume it's yeah. Like, it's like the old Irish guy serving. <laughs> <life. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was very talented uh, for, uh, <laughs> cocktail maker. Um, so there's it's like lift or solo, and then vanilla Galliano shot. Ooh, that Ooh. actually sounds pretty young. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be order if it wasn't called a golden <laughs> shower. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to say it. that out loud. I thought it was have a golden shower. And then there's the Newport, but I don't think that exists anymore actually. Mm. But they had had free pizza on a Wednesday. And they've had c- they would have cover bands and you could play pool there as well and they had the Jaeger bar that, that just serves Jaegermeister. Beautiful <laughs> Jaeger bombs. Yeah, you go around the corner and then down to the left and that's where the Orient is where there's open mic guitar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so Perth. This is yeah. great. Yeah, this is so all so WA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WA today. Awesome. Yeah. And that brings us to our final question. Final question, mm-hmm. Fran. You have ascended to the highest heights of your career. <laughs> <laughs> You've made all the money in the world that you want. When all is said and done, would you settle down in the bup? No. <laughs> what about no. Frio? Because you uh, got very excited I when we got, did Frio. I got very close to, well, I started almost to be like, okay, I'm back in Frio last year and the year before. I spent a couple of years there. In South Frio, I was living above a pub, classic. Everything's got to be near a pub. Mm. And that I think that pub's owned by one of the, the Dockers players, maybe. Mm-hmm. There are a few pubs along the, that's the South Terrace, which is the strip um, down in South Frio, heading towards South Beach. 
and I lived literally just like three minutes across from the beach and I could just get up, walk across the road, jump in the ocean. It was magic. Oh, that, that rocks. sounds pretty so cool. So I did really love that and I, I don't know. There's a very strong pull. Mm. I don't know if it's the moon, the water. <laughs> 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 it makes well, the sponge yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're just not the same on the East Coast, you know? Uh, no Western potato. I know. Uh, just so like munching on a raw potato whilst watching the sun. <laughs> yeah. Something Nothing special like it. That. <laughs> so you're a maybe, maybe. I'm a maybe. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's good. Mm. And last, Fran, do you have anything you want to plug? Any shows, any social media stuff? Oh my God, I don't even know who listens to this, but hello. Um, <laughs> Sydney Fringe is coming up and I'm doing a new show, but I, what the hell is going to be in it, you guys? Is this what a, am I going to do in it? T- is this a split bill? Okay, I'm doing a split bill with I, Cameron Duggan and Charlie McCann. That's oh, going to be awesome. That's the so end. It's what a pretty a, what fun a, combo. What a lineup. That wow. is beautiful. Oh, yeah. right. this, that's a wacky and, good time. And the image for it is a picture of my rabbit, Yoko. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tried to split you guys up, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then, but uh, the week, so that's the end of September. That's a split bill, but you got a solo as well. The solo is the week before that. And it's called Fran Middleton Presents. Awesome. Beautiful. Check that out. Yeah. Do you know the dates? 20 and 20. Mm-hmm. Look them up. Look them up. What's your Insta and stuff? My Insta thing is Fran Middle Fran. Fran. Instead like of it. Fran Middleton, it's just Fran again. So the middles, it's like a little middle sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm doing shows as well, 14th, 16th, and 17th of oh, September. Yeah. yeah. Are you at the Factory Theatre? Yeah. Awesome. Everything's at the Factory. Oh, nothing for Sydney for, for Sydney Fringe Comedy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know. Th- I thought there was stuff at the end more. But I don't know. Maybe. No, maybe. But anyway, I'm at the Factory. It's mm-hmm. going to be super fun. Thursday, it's a 9.30, 9.30, then 8.30. Mm. Um and late come, night boy. I'm oh. a, I'm a bit of an early evening girl this this year. I've got oh. a six fifty p.m. There you, there you go. go. Well, How's you got to go see Catch Fran, both. and then you have dinner, and then you come see me. If we're on the same date. No, well, you're, you're earlier than me, but oh, sure. Well, you can, you can <laughs> go home, <laughs> have a nap, that's a long dinner. <laughs> go to work for two days, and then. Um, but yeah, no, buy tickets, please. I don't know if you've looked at your tickets or anything. Oh, oh no, no, I haven't done any promo at all. So <laughs> thanks so much for this, guys. <laughs> no, go check out, buy tickets for Fran. Buy tickets for me if you're coming, it'll be great. These boys will. We'll they be won't there. be performing, so that should help. But it, they will be. <laughs> if you guys want to hop up in the show? We'll I've be got doing no some. Material. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing some audio commentary on Alex's yeah. show. Yeah. Ooh la la, that'd be cute. Um, and we have a Patreon, yes. so please subscribe. Um, send us lovely messages. We love getting them. Hot and, tips, and also send them lovely money. Yes, yeah. that's love it. some lovely money. You can find it point. at patreon.com slash community notice board or you can just search it and the link is in Instagram bio. Five bucks a month gets you two bonus episodes a month and they've been fun. They, they have been really fun. fun. Awesome. We're gonna do one about house parties. So um mm. yeah, we're gonna talk all yeah. about that. So fucking and get Corey right. Worthington doing Corey. a deep dive, Ooh, baby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wortho. Yeah, right. Um but other than that, thanks for listening. Thanks, yep. friends. Thanks. That was so much fun. Thanks, thanks everyone. Bye bye. 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 bye.